Hey there educators, how's it going? Will here and today I want to share with you one of the best investments you can make for your classroom right now in this e-learning environment and something that's going to benefit you moving on in the future when we are able to get back to the classroom. But before I share that with you, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can always get the latest content from EduCenter. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you like it and share it on any of those socials. It really helps us out here. So that being said, let's get started. So that investment you can make is honestly, it's fairly cheap. It's one of the cheaper things you can do. You don't need to get like a really expensive lighting setup. You don't need to get a high end camera or web camera. You don't need to get a capture card, or anything like that. The best thing that you can do for your classroom is to pick up a USB microphone. Now this is the blue snowball. This is probably the cheapest, best quality one you can get there. I should say inexpensive because it is inexpensive. It isn't cheap. This is really high quality. It actually has a pretty good setup and casing on it. Uh, and it has a little tripod so you can put it on there. What this microphone does is it creates a cardioid pattern. So where your traditional laptop microphone has this really kind of crappy audio that just kind of shoots out everywhere and it's picking up all of that ambient noise. This guy has a pattern that's only going to pick up stuff that's in front of it right here. And the reason that's so important is it's going to actively filter all of those background noises. So yes, it picks up kind of the low level hums or if you have a large uh, sound that occurs during your video, it'll pick that up. But for the most part, this is going to focus on your voice specifically. Now this microphone right here is only $60. Right, so $60, that's not a lot. You can pick that up on Amazon, Best Buy. Um, basically, I'll just put all of the links in the description where you can pick this guy up. Now, if you're looking for something a little more high-end, I totally recommend the Yet Blue Yeti Nano. It's a smaller version of the Yeti mic, uh, which is actually this guy right here. And what that does is it has two settings. It has the cardioid pattern and then an omnidirectional, so it'll pick up all the sounds everywhere. That's perfect if you're having like a few people talk at the same time and you're trying to capture all of that. So it's a good investment for the classroom in the future. But on top of that, this guy and that guy and the Yeti Nano, they're going to increase your sound quality and it interfaces with everything. So if you're using Zoom, Google Meet, Screencast-O-Matic, Screencastify, it will interface with those and it will create a lot better audio. Now, I don't know if you've been experiencing this or if you've been on like a Zoom conference or video conference, right? And you hear somebody talking and it's just really, really bad audio. Now, most people are like, just put in your headphones, it's gonna sound better that way. And yeah, it will, but these guys are going to increase that sound and it's going to just make you sound a lot more professional. Not gonna lie, it changes everything for you. Now, if we're talking in terms of like future classroom, I have a feeling this whole e-learning is really going to start pushing more of the flipped classroom concept as well. Because we're finding that we can get a lot more of that content that we're wanting to teach and we're packing in 10 to 15 minutes without all of that uh, junk of classroom management, right? Telling kids to be quiet, trying to answer kids who want to go to the bathroom, stuff like that. So the flipped classroom is going to start becoming more and more popular, I think, especially as parents see how it's benefiting their kids. Now, that being said, having one of these guys is going to make a huge difference for you there as well. Now, what I want to show you is just a kind of a few tests. So I'm going to jump on this computer here and we're going to test what the computer microphone sounds like versus the blue snowball and then the blue Yeti. And you're going to see a tremendous difference, especially starting from the first one, which is just the computer microphone array, which isn't very good, let's be honest. It's just some cheap components thrown in there to what an actual high quality sound and production is. A few moments later. So as you can see, I'm on my webcam now, super grainy footage, and the audio is going to be spiking a lot more because the way that microphone array works is so you have your uh, microphone usually up top here, and then it's just picking up all the sound coming off of it. So that means sound that I'm speaking that way, so it hits that wall, bounces back, comes back here. It's just not sounding good. It's not high quality at all. Now let's go ahead and see what the blue snowball is gonna sound like, and then we'll also compare that to, of course, the blue Yeti.
Now I'm using the blue Yeti and you're going to notice a lot of difference between the first video that you just saw and this video. This blue Yeti again is picking up everything that's in this direction so it's not really worrying about stuff and it has kind of a set distance which is nice. So yeah loud sounds in the background those will pick up just because when they travel they'll bounce back and it can still be well you know picked up by your microphone, but this for the most part is going to be more of a conversation. So I don't know if you've noticed when you're doing a lot of the e-learning, but you might seem like you're having to yell a lot more. And there's just kind of this weird psychological concept that happens that when you're looking at the microphone and then you're looking at the screen, that you're going to have to talk louder because you know that has to be picked up by the really tiny little microphone. Now this guy here, so when I point it this way, you're going to notice the audio changed right away. So now my voice is going to the computer, hitting that and coming back, and it's going to sound a little different. But what it's doing is super cool. So it has these large microphones in there that are able to pick up a lot better sounds at different ranges. And then when it's compressing all of that and putting all of that information together, it's making it sound a lot crisper and clearer. Okay, so this was the blue snowball. Let's check out what that blue Yeti sounds like. So now we're on the blue Yeti microphone. This is a really high-end microphone and it has several different ways it can record. Uh, well, record audio, I should say. So it can do the cardioid pattern where it's picking up everything this way. It can do the omnidirectional. It can actually do two separate cardioids. So one from the front, one from the back. Just a lot of cool opportunities. With the Blue Yeti and the Blue Yeti Nano, you can actually plug headphones into it and control volume that way. And a nifty feature that you're going to see here is the mute. So if I want to, you can't hear me talking at all. It's a very convenient feature that the Blue Snowball doesn't have. Now it's important to talk about terms of price. So the Snowball itself ranges anywhere from 60 to 70 dollars. You can find it on sale for the most part. Uh, the Yeti here actually uh, runs retail about hundred and thirty dollars. You can pick it up on Amazon as a renewed like I did for about eighty dollars which is helpful and the Yeti Nano runs about ninety. In my opinion I would just go with the full version because this guy not only can you control the sound on it, I'm going to switch to a cardioid pattern so, or a different cardioid pattern so it sounds better. So now you can hear me talking from the back here. But if I show you this back area here, we also have the gain switch. So I can crank the gain up really loud. There we go. Loud that way. So it's over picking up things. So I can have this really far away and you're still gonna hear me well. Or if I need a little more intimate setting, we can put that guy really low and we can talk a lot closer and it's going to sound a lot nicer that way. I try to keep the gain about midway because I like to sit back in a chair when I talk. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and please, if you do, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, again, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna be trying to post more content that's going to help your e-learning classroom throughout the next couple months. Thanks for watching.